everybody, Martin the Flicking Feathers again today, and I'm tying Rab Adams' Lethal Weapon. It's a great wee wet fly for the Scottish Lochs, although it obviously will work further afield, try them wherever you fish. Um, as always, I'll put a materials list in the description, along with a link to the Patreon page for anyone that would like to support the channel, get access to the members only content, and be entered into the giveaways. You can also uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to get notified of the new videos, that's all appreciated. So, I've got my hook in my vise, this is a size 10, B175, uh, it was a size 12 that I had in before, um, but I'm moving on to the 10s. Tie these tens to fourteens probably. Um twelve's probably the best size I would say. Most days. And this is a fly that'll work in a variety of conditions as well. Um so I've run on some black uni or and I've tied in some small double sided tinsel. The ribs gold, so I've tied it with the silver side up. Now I've got this dub and blend here that I've mixed myself, it's a sort of dirty olive um, sulfur, like kind of dirty yellow, honey olive, something like that, whatever you want to call it. And I've blended in quite a lot of quite a lot of dark hairs here. Uh, probably 60-40 in favour of the hairs here. And it's a nice colour, it, it, it's, it's really good, it looks like um, so it's like a greeny brown, olivey, it's very nice. Um, I mean this fly works really well when there's cow dung's falling, uh, shield bugs as well, it's a, it's a good, a good kind of all round suggestive part and a great colour. So. I've dubbed that one, I'm just going to take it up, if you need to tighten it, you can, just come up, build yourself a, a decent wee body, just going to take a wee teeny bit more, not much, but just a wee bit, you need to leave enough space, but you don't want to be short either so I'll just get that one just come up like that so I've got an eye length three here now, yeah, there's not a lot of tying going in uh, two hackles in the rib so it's no you know you don't need to be leaning three mil or anything just about an eye length plenty now, the hackle that you want is like I'm using a Chinese, a natural red game Chinese neck here. Um, is ideal. You don't want to use too high quality a feather. Like, I mean, if you got a softish genetic saddle, it might be all right. But you want this sort of henny cock. If I hold that with a good side facing, you can see it's it's quite henny in this end. Web and the web runs halfway up the feather. So I'm just going to take away any of the fluffy marabou-like feathers, fibers. And I'll tie this in good side facing me. Trim away the waist. Take it right into the eye and come back. Now, as it's a small hackle, I'll use my hackle pliers. Normally, I prefer to wind by hand, but with the length of this feather, with these capes, your know, hackle pliers are probably beneficial. So, a couple of turns at the front and in the body. There's three into my fourth one, then I'll sort of chase it around with a tinsel to kind of complete the fourth wrap and tie it off and then I'll just rub up through 
four or five gets you up, up through the hackle, sweep everything back, put that tinsel through it, and tie it off. If there's a, there's a wee fibre annoying me there, so I'm just going to go back a turn with my thread, catch that. There we go. A couple of wraps will secure that tinsel. Trim away my waist. Then I'll draw any feather fibre that's going forward back. And just tidy everything up. And then I'll just come in with my Velcro. Pull some of that dubbing into the hackle. Right, the seal's fuzz longer than the hair's ear and the fibre, so that pulls it a wee bit longer. He's a, a yellow haze when the light comes through it. I'll just come in then snap away that hackle tip. And just use your fingers, just roll it, get it back into shape. And then the head hackle is just a brown partridge feather. It can be quite long in the, in the fibre as well, it can be quite a leggy front hackle if you like. Just got to prepare this, tie it in by the tip. Two or three turns down, fold it back, tie it off. Now the tip's tiny, so just leave it in. You can remove it if you want, but you wouldn't even see it. I'm just going to fold the hackle as I wind. One turn in front of the other. Now it's just. It's a wee bit steep there, I've got a wee step. I'm just going to come in and smooth that out. Right, that should be better. And it always sits better the second time anyway, if you wind the hackle twice. There we go. Just use it up. I mean, the, the partridge hackles are quite short. Just, you, just fill up the hackle. Come to the front, trim it off, and then whip finish. Form your head as you do so, and the fly is done. Right. Get a bit of varnish. And there you go, you're ready. So I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys, bye.